and what's up i am scovia Ivenu here and i love showing you how to make easy and amazing recipes in today's episode i'm going to be showing you how to make lemon blueberry cake and it's going to be a hit once you try out the recipe so stay tuned until the end of the video and learn how to make this amazing cake the recipe calls for fresh blueberries so you make sure you have some in the house or in the fridge yeah so i'm going to get started by adding sugar to a cup of margarine and you'll find all the ingredients listed in the description box down below then i'm going to mix the sugar and margarine together Once combined, I'm going to make sure that the margarine and sugar is well combined. Then I'm going to add in three eggs. I love breaking my eggs in a bowl just to make sure they are all fresh. Then I'm going to beat this until creamy. I make sure to scrape the sides of my bowl so that everything can get whipped up and I'm using high speed to whip together my eggs and sugar and margarine. Just as I whip up my butter, I'm going to preheat my oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to make sure that my tins are lined like this. So I've sprayed the tins with baking spray and then I've, I've lined with parchment paper. If you don't have the parchment paper, you can just oil the tin and then add a little bit of flour, tap out to excess and then you're good to go. Yeah. The butter should turn from yellowish to pale white once you whip up until it doubles up. This is just to add air bubbles into the butter. So you make sure you whip it up until doubled. To my butter, I'm going to add lemon zest. So I have tiny lemons over here. So I'm going to peel or remove the green part not the white part so you make sure you don't go into the lemon so much I love when I can sneak in some citrus into my cakes because it is usually so refreshing Citrus fruits add a lot of flavor to the to the cake. So make sure you add some lemon. So that is enough. That is like a tablespoon of lemon zest. To my bowl, I'm going to add baking powder, vanilla essence. Then I'll whip this up together until combined. Once combined, I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is just to balance out the sugar.
then now it's time to add my flour and buttermilk i'm using buttermilk for this recipe so if you don't have buttermilk and you have fresh milk in the house what you do you add a, a, a quarter cup of white vinegar and it will give you buttermilk after five minutes so i'm going to add my flour and milk in intervals Scrape the sides, make sure everything is in the middle of the bowl. Then I'm going to add a little bit of buttermilk. Mix in. Then I'm going to add some more flour. And once everything is like combined, I'm going to go in with my mixer for 30 seconds. Make sure not to overmix the butter. Once my butter is ready, I'm going to add in fresh blueberries. That is about a cup of fresh blueberries then I'm going to fold in. Then I'm going to pick my baking tin and then I'm going to add equal amounts of butter into the tins. So I'm already used to eyeballing my <laughs> dividing my butter so if you have a weighing scale you can use weighing scale at this part because you want to have equal cake layers then i'm going to use my spatula and flatten the tops make sure that the cake butter doesn't go past halfway because it might spill and they are looking amazing so I'm ready to pop my cakes into the oven and if you're using one tin, you're going to bake the cakes for 15 minutes. And if you're using two tins like mine, you're going to bake the cake for 30 minutes or you insert a skewer and it comes out clean. So my cake have been cooling for around one hour, so they are completely cool. So I'm going to show you how to frost our cakes. So I'm going to add in icing sugar in my bowl. Then I'm going to add in whipping cream. Next, I'm going to add in a little bit of vanilla. And then I'm going to use my mixer and mix until soft picks before whipping up the whipping cream make sure it is chilled and also make sure that your bowl is chilled or you'll have to whip it up for longer Make sure to go to the sides of the bowl and make sure every whipping cream is whipped up. And my cream is ready. So I'm going to pick my turntable and my cakes. You can see how lovely they look. I'm going to add a dollop of whipping cream on my cake board. Then I'm going to place my first slice of cake on top. Make sure it is at the center of the cake board. Then I'm going to scoop out some whipping cream and place it on top of my cake. Using a palette knife, I'm going to 
spread the whipping cream around just like that and then I'm going to pick my other piece of cake place it on top press down a little bit then I'll add some more cream for my top this is a very simple cake decorate decoration Spread the whipping cream around. Making sure I try and level up the cake on top. Then now I'm going to go on the side. Make sure you turn your table as you remove the excess whipping cream. Level up the sides and once done, I'm going to go on top and remove the excess. Just trying to level up the top. Just like that. So my lemon blueberry cake is ready and I've tried to decorate a little bit because it is just for, it's, it is our own cake for, uh, for enjoying because tomorrow it's on Sunday. And I hope you try out this recipe for yourself and make this amazing lemon blueberry cake. Catch you on my next one. Bye.